Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the BCMA podcast and today Artist Spotlight. We have a very special guest in here, a Texas artist, and I'm going to let him introduce himself. How's it going, man? It's Mr. Darren. Hey man, this is Darren Morris. I appreciate you having me, man. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Darren, you of course you're a Texas, you know, Texas artist. Where are you originally from out in Texas? Man, I was born in a little East Texas town called Mount Pleasant, which is about, I guess it's probably about 25 or 30,000 people. And then uh, I moved out to uh, Fort Worth and lived out there for quite a few years. Uh, and then I moved back to East Texas, and I live currently in a little town called Gilmer, which has about 5,000. Uh, if any of you guys out there know uh, who Curtis Grimes is, uh, Curtis and I live in the same town in Gilmer, Texas, in East Texas. So. That's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, we got a lot, a lot of Texas love for, uh, in the BCMA. We got a lot of Texas people come on. A lot of Texas listeners. Uh, as I've said many a time, we are members of the Texas Country Music Association. So, man, I, at, at what age did you begin to start? You know, wanting or maybe singing or wanting to pursue music in general. Man, I started singing. Um, I grew up. Uh, I grew up in the church, man. My dad was a pastor for 48 years, and so I grew up singing in church my whole life and did that for a long, long time. I actually started out, uh, you know, doing uh, doing the Christian uh, country uh, country and, and contemporary Christian music and then uh, moved into a praise and worship leader where I, I did that for several years. And then about six years ago, me and actually uh, about three or four of my friends uh, from our church decided we wanted to go out and uh, – pursue uh, country music because that's something I'd, I'd grown up on listening to and loving country music man I I uh, my favorite artist of all time is Keith Whitley and so uh, I remember you know Keith and, and, and George Strait and, and uh, you know uh, Garth Brooks and people like that man who I just loved I just loved their music in the 80s and the 90s and so uh, that's what we did we started this country band about six years ago that's awesome man you get a lot of people come on, and uh, a lot of a lot of great uh, country and even artists in general come from starting out, you know, in, in faith, uh, choirs and church, or leading worship. Sure. And uh, I think it's a great a great way to to start. I know uh, we had names come on, such as Joey Greer. I know he started uh, in the in the worship leading, and uh, just right. all, all kind of names, man. That's an awesome way to start. Now you did yeah. mention already your uh, favorite artist. I'm going to ask you, at what age did you, or not at what age, but at what point did you say, okay, uh, I'm going to go into this and, 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 and try to pursue those, those guys like you mentioned and, and, and Keith and all the other, other ones. Really, man, you know, like I said, I, as, as a, as a kid, you know, in junior high and high school, um, that's when I really, really fell in love with, uh, with, with country music, you know, and like I said, you know, Keith Whitley and, you know, Keith died back in 1989. And I remember, you know, back then, and I, I was, it was devastated when I found out that Keith Whitley died, man, because he was one of my, he was definitely my favorite artist. And so, uh, but I've always loved his music and still today, man, I mean, even during our shows and stuff, I'll, I'll always do at least one or two Keith Whitley songs, no matter where I'm playing. And, uh, but, you know, like I said, I, I didn't get a chance to really pursue country music um, until until about six years ago. Uh, before that, like I said, I was doing praise and worship and Christian uh, Christian music, and then I, I got the opportunity to go out and start doing some country uh, some country music at some different places, restaurants, and things like that. And uh, it just it just took off, man. We just kind of we went out and we did that, and uh, kind of snowballed. Uh, and everywhere we'd go, we we'd get asked to to go somewhere else, and you know somebody'd be there and hear us, and so. It just kind of snowballed, kind of dom- uh, kind of domino effect, kind of happened, and uh, here we are today, six years later, man, going strong, and that's what we do full time. Well, that's great, man. That that's a great a great story and a great blessing, of, of course, you know. And uh, Keith Whitley, I, I always ask myself, uh, you know, if the world took Keith Whitley young. If if Keith Whitley would have made it to George Jones's age, I don't even think. George Jones had a run for his money, and you know what I'm saying. Man, I mean, there, there is just no telling what all Keith Whitley could have done, and how much, how much, and incredible music he could have shared with the world, man. If he had lived longer, there's no it, doubt in my mind, man. Yes, sir. I'm a '90s baby myself, and and just naming country music off 
if if you don't name Keith, I, I, I mean Keith, you gotta think. You gotta <laughs> you can't think really be Keith. friends if you don't. Can no, we? <laughs> you gotta think. You gotta think of Keith, man. You gotta think of Keith, and and you know uh, the Allen Jacksons. Tracy Lawrence is another yeah. one of my favorites. And yeah, Clint Black. And, Clint you know, Black. Those, oh you know, man, Travis Tripp. Uh, another shit, man. oh man, we can name them so all. So many night. good ones, so many good ones in the '90s, man. I mean, that's that's my favorite country uh, era, anyway, is the '90s, you know. So yeah, well, I'm glad to hear that. You know, I, I'm a younger guy, and I say '90s baby, and a lot of older people. Oh, the nine, uh, you don't know the great. I'm not taking anything away from the George Jones and the you know Merle Haggards, no, 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 but to not. me, man, that 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 90s country was like right. country that's right. when country was co- and it's co- starting to come back a little bit now it's man it's it refreshing. is man and i hope it does <laughs> I'm, I'm trying myself to bring some of it back you oh know? you're doing and a, i know there's a there's do- a lot of artists like me out there these days especially in texas country music and louisiana oh, arkansas like definitely. you know places around the south that are trying to bring real country music back you know that's the point you know so you know i'll, I'll do one little little snippet in here just you're right, man. There's so many young artists in in your state, and some in ours and Louisiana, all over that is bringing that back. And I did an interview with Dustin Sonia, a, a guy from Louisiana, one of our great artists, got a great voice, and he has mm-hmm. a new song out. It's climbing the charts in Texas, and it's uh, called "Drinking Alone." And I said, "Man, that's just that's an awesome song." And he said, "Well, when we went into it, we wanted to m- mimic it like Keith Whitley and the." and the eagles and i was like who would have <laughs> ever thought you know so there you and there's so yeah. many people man and, and of course like you mentioned in, in in your state that in texas country music if you're not a fan of texas country music i mean they it's alive and well and, and also yeah, you know not, we're not going to steer too much away from you man but I, i'm so happy to hear you know the the, the greats like aaron watson and cody johnson and all these sure. guys finally get recognized by nashville right absolutely man those guys are killing it man and then and nashville is really taking notice and, that, and it and that's that, why i think it's coming back that's why i think yeah you know so yeah definitely brother so back to darren we can sit and talk all night about country but back <laughs> to darren. Hey, i can talk all night long about it man. <laughs> so man i mean you mentioned y'all started kind of playing around did y'all play a lot of cover stuff or did y'all start we, writing we y'all? did man yeah like the first uh the first year year and a half man all we did was kind of play cover songs and uh so a, a friend of mine um from dallas he we were talking one day and he said man he said he said, have you ever thought about, you know, you know, writing some music? He said, because, I mean, y'all are killing it, you know, doing all these all these cover songs. People love, you know, what you're doing, but there's no telling what you could do. You know, you might, you know, you might try your hand at writing some some songs and see what happens. And and I was like, man, you know, I said, I, I, I don't know. I've never really considered myself a songwriter. I just love to sing and go out and perform. But I said, you know, maybe I can give it a shot. And. And I did. I, he talked me into it, and I'm glad I did. And I, I wrote and co-wrote uh, my first whole, uh, the, the first album we put out uh, about three years ago, and uh, then uh, then I, I wrote about three or four songs off this new album. So uh, it's it's working out pretty good. People are digging the original tune. So I, I'm glad I I'm glad he talked me into it, and I'm glad I took his advice. So. Yeah, man, definitely. Uh, do you do you really like and enjoy the songwriting aspect of it? I really do, um, I, and I don't, I know, like, and I don't, you know, I don't really consider myself a pure songwriter. I, I have, I have friends that are songwriters that I really consider songwriters, and, I mean, they can write, I mean, they seem, seems like they can write, like, you know, three or four or five songs a week. It's I mean, gift, I, I might, man. I might write, like, five or, five or ten songs a year, you know, yeah, so yeah. I don't really consider myself, even though I've written, I think, some pretty decent tunes, um. Uh, I don't really, you know, consider myself a a pure songwriter like like you know those 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 people do. But uh, I'm, but I'm glad I'm, I'm able to write some, and I really enjoy it. I don't really force my songwriting though. If if a song comes to me, I'll write it. But I don't really sit down and go, oh my god, you know, I've got to I've got to write this many songs, or I've got to get these songs out, or I don't do it like that. I don't stress about it. If the song comes, I'll write it. If it don't come, then I'll wait for it to come. You know, so. Yes, sir. You, you, uh, you're very, you hit the nail on the head, man. I know many people that, for buddies that can, 
they can write us four songs just on any just it's a god-given gift it really is i know man. i know it man <laughs> god-given gift. I don't, I don't feel like i'm a, i don't feel like i'm that talented to be considered like a you know a really bona fide you know you know songwriter even though you know i've written several songs uh, but i don't really i don't really go around just telling people i'm a songwriter i really like to go out and perform and and uh, put music out there, and, and if one, if it's one of my songs that really takes off, fine. If it's one of my friend's songs that I'm able to record, and it takes off, then hey, that's great too. You know? Well, speaking of songs, man, you got a brand new tune that I want you to go ahead and introduce it. We're gonna play it, and when we come back, we're gonna dig in and, and get the story behind it, and and all the news and that what Darren got coming up this this coming, you know, next few months and the beginning of next year. So, man. Sure. I mean, I love this song. Everybody out there listening, you will be seeing it soon on our top forty. Just a hint, hint. But uh, I'll let you go ahead and introduce it, brother. Yeah, this uh, this brand new song um, that was actually written by two friends of mine in Houston, uh, Amy Barnett and Chris uh, Fisher. Uh, it, it, crazy story, man. I I got a call one day uh, from a studio, uh, Rosewood Studio in Tyler, Texas. And uh, the the engineer said, "Hey man," he said, uh, "I've got a I've got some songwriters from Houston. They've written they've written a song or two, and we're look they're looking for a, a, a demo singer because they've got some really really well named uh, big name uh, artists that are interested in these songs, and but they need somebody to demo it. And so I said, "Well, sure, man. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll come over and demo those songs. No big deal. You know, make a little cash and walk out of there and." You know, they have their song, and I've made a little money for the day, you know, kind of deal. Exactly. Uh, but uh, I went in there, and um, and, and I did. I, I recorded those two songs for them, and um, after I got done, th- those two songwriters were like, they were like, you know, we, they said, we really wish that you um, could, could record this song and put it out, uh, you know, to radio yourself, she said, but... Uh, We've promised it to to a couple other guys, and if for some reason they don't they don't take this song, you know, you know, if you're interested, then we we'd like for you to do it because we really think what you did was was really good, and you really brought it to life. And so, and if I name those artists that uh, that turned this song down, you would definitely know who they are. They're they're very very well known in uh, the Texas country music industry. But anyway, I won't name names, but I just say that I'm so glad that uh, it worked out, and I was able to record this song. I was able to put it on our new album, and uh, we just put it out to radio. It's just been out a couple weeks now, and it's a song called Never Knew Texas. Yes, sir. Never Knew Texas. We're going to go ahead and play it for you guys, and then we're going to come back and get more more into uh, talking about the song and stuff and and uh, getting into the to the roots of, of the up-and-coming year in, as of 2019 for Darren. So without further ado, Ladies and gentlemen, never knew Texas. Grab an old winter coat from the closet in a Texas July. Cause I know any minute you'll be pulling in the drive, and I'll be taking shelter. Trying to shield my heart From the bitter storm you bring That's tearing us apart I stood in a raging blizzard In Gatlinburg, Tennessee Braved old man winter On a Cheyenne Christmas Eve And I cursed the windy city When it chilled me to the bone But I never knew Texas Could be this cold You could melt my heart in an instant With the touch of your hand But the chill of your cold shoulder Helps me understand We've drifted so far now love we had is lost The icy bridge between us Is just too hard to cross I stood in a raging blizzard In Gatlinburg, Tennessee A brave old man went On a Cheyenne Christmas Eve 
And I curse the windy city When it chilled me to the bone But I never knew Texas Could be this cold Turn back time, I take you to a warmer day Before we turn by summer skies to winter gray I stood in a raging blizzard in Gatlinburg, Tennessee A brave old man went on a Cheyenne Christmas scene And I cursed the windy city When it chilled me to the bone But I never knew Texas Could be this cold I never knew Texas Could be this cold Grab an old winter coat from the closet In a Texas July Wow, that is never new Texas and I mean that that first time I heard the song I kept I had to listen to it three or four times, man. Uh I personally I appreciate I it, man. Thank you. <laughs> personally love the song. I think it's gonna do good things, man, on radio and uh and hopefully more so that you mentioned earlier this is off an uh, upcoming record you got well this is off the, the, the brand new record we just released our brand new record uh about i guess it's been out about four months now and uh we the first song we released off that record was a song that i wrote about my dad and i don't know if you've heard it or not but it's a song called preacher man like i said earlier my dad was a pastor yeah uh, for 48 48 years man my dad was a pastor and and uh, he passed away uh, a few years back, and so I really wanted to write a song uh, to honor him, and so I, I wrote that song called Preacher Man, and I, it's the title cut of the brand new CD, which Never Knew Texas is on that CD, and uh, so Never Knew Texas is our, our second single to release off of that CD. Okay, so this is going to be the, sec- the the second single for radio and all off of that off Yes, that sir, and it, it just came out. Uh, we just released it to radio. Uh, matter of fact, it hadn't even debuted on the TRRR chart yet, uh, but it should probably within the next week or two so it's, it's still new to the charts and uh so it's, it's been out a couple of weeks and so it'll it'll start climbing the charts you know and, and all that kind of stuff yeah man definitely well i can tell you what it will be debuting on our charts with is spotify and that kind of leads me into a plug get it on spotify get it on itunes get it on however you get your music you just look up Darren Morris is it Darren Morris band they have to look yes, up Yes sir Dar- Darren Morris band yeah you yeah. look him up and uh yep. go ahead and download it and and just you know call call in them stations all my Texas listeners call them call in get it going get it get some spins going but you definitely have if you haven't heard this song uh, or you're listening to this and you heard this song just now you definitely want to go get it go get it on all music uh all music platforms all the all the streaming and all that you know Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, you mentioned that you started out kind of doing this, the the restaurants and playing kind of acoustic type stuff. Have you graduated now into playing a little bit bigger bigger places now, or is that? Oh yeah, you- man. Yeah, it's 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 taken off like crazy now. Um, I mean, we've played, we played the Houston Rodeo two years in a row. Wow. Um, we played the big Texas balloon race in, in Longview, which opened. We opened for Aaron Watson two years ago, and wow. then last year we opened for Travis Tripp out there. Uh, you know, so yeah, no, it, it, yeah, we're we're we do Fridays and Saturdays are are almost a hundred percent full band shows, and then I still pick up I still pick up acoustic shows, you know, like on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So we try to do try to do three or four shows a week at least, uh, and then I'm doing you know radio tours a lot of times on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So you know, kind of kind of make that make that happen and make my rounds and, you know, go visit the stations of people, people like yourself, you know, that has a, that has a yeah, you know, definitely. platform that we can yeah. get into and, and get to know people. And, and, you know, it's all about, it's all about the fans, you know, and, 
getting the music to the fans and, and growing that fan base and we just uh we just love performing and going out and meet people man. so we love it we love it yes sir i mean i i, I have to say it's uh part politicking man a lot of it man you got to get out it there is, and unfortunately but i mean you know honestly i really i really look at it though i mean before i got into this i mean i i guess i guess like i said you know growing up you know in the church and stuff my you know, pastor i just i just grew up with a with an appreciation for people in general and a love for people and so i don't i don't try to fake you know i don't try to fake things i try to i try to be genuine, genuine. And i try to be honest and you know i try to just you know uh, I really, I really care about people, and that's that's what I really want people to see in me is, is that I, you know, I love them and I care for them, and I, you know, when I'm when I'm shaking your hand or meeting you for the first time, it's I really do enjoy doing that. You know, it's not just something that I fake, and you know, I'm not trying to just win somebody over. Uh, I, you know, I really do uh, want to be, you know, friends with those people. I really do. That's just how I am. Yeah, man, and I, I mean, just, we haven't spoke much but I, I definitely get that vibe from you man very genuine and and a lot a lot of artists from your area are very genuine and i think that's what's so refreshing is they're not it, it's just great good people it does, you know that are just right just yeah just just and the thing and that's the thing be a good person and, and be good to people and and it'll come back to you man i mean you, you know that's just that's the way it should be <laughs> to me anyway yeah. that's just the way it should be amen i agree man the better person you are to others uh it doesn't matter you know if you're in it for the fame and fortune and not caring about everybody else but the people such as yourself that have yeah. that god-given ability man just to, to to sing and and they feel so appreciative appreciative every day and appreciate sure. fans and and that's, that's yeah man that's awesome that's where it's at man it's just the appreciation for the fans and you know, like you said, you know, what we do, uh, we're blessed to do by God. And, you know, and, and if you ever think that you can do it on your own, you know, then you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> you just yes. are, you're just wrong. <laughs> very so. wrong. Very wrong. <laughs> yeah, man, definitely. So what do you have a website where people can come check out your, uh, you know, your upcoming shows? Or, or Sure, yeah. You can go to, uh, you can go to uh, DarrenMorrisBand.com. Or I'll tell you what's really cool. We have a deal called, um, it's called, Darren Morris Band dot app, and uh, that's a really good way to uh, find our schedule and all that kind of stuff. Of course, of course, we're on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that kind yeah. of stuff too. And I, I but do. that that app thing's a pretty good pretty good tool. If you just go to Darren Morris Band dot app, you can pull up everything. So. Cool. And I do make a uh, I do make an effort every time I do you know I do these artist spotlights and bring. I always, when I do the, uh, you know, posting it, I, I, I put all the social media pages and all that so people can go get, you know, get everything they need, man. I'm sure. Yeah, and, you know, and everybody likes a different platform, you know. Some people that like Twitter don't like Facebook, and some people that like Instagram don't like Twitter, you know. Yep. So you, you put them all out there, and you find find where uh, find where people are, you know. Exactly, exactly. And you have some merchandise up there for sale, or... or? We do. We usually just um, we usually just do it at our shows right now. We don't really have a like an a online store to buy merchandise. Um, that's something we're, we'll probably end up doing, you know, really soon, trying to get something like that going. But uh, uh, yeah, not not yet. But we do have plenty of merchandise. That, that so you come out to the go shows. out to a show. Everybody go out to a show and you can get you some good merch, man. I Absolutely. always I always bring up the merch because I'm a big believer in buying merchandise from 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 uh, artists because. Up and coming artists like such as yourself or artists in general, that that's their bread and butter. You know, uh, you buy something from them, uh, buy their music, buy a shirt, buy a hat. That that's sure. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that that uh, man that keeps us on the road and keeps the bills paid. You know, that's, exactly. that's the name of the game at this point. So exactly, and I you know we we like to keep putting out music, and that's that's the way we do it. I mean, if people will people will go out and, and get merch and and buy the songs and you know support us at our shows and. That's how we keep putting out brand new stuff and stay on the road, and you know. And I, I definitely appreciate it one hundred percent. And I tell you what, man, if you'll send me uh, your address and stuff after this is over with, oh man, I'll get you some stuff. I'll send you some stuff out, man. Well, that's awesome, man. Yeah, we'll definitely have to have to swap out. I'll send you some some gear. We got some stickers and shirt stuff like that. Sounds good. Body country yeah. stuff, man, and uh, definitely. So I'm gonna get into the second portion. I like to do a little Q and A with you, man. If you had an opportunity to 
do say pick the brain or, or even be able to do a duet or write a song with anybody alive these days whether it be a texas artist or nashville artist or whoever who, who would that be uh someone today that man i tell you what i would love to meet and to to write and maybe even do a do a do it with garth brooks man oh that my would God. Be he, awesome. that he would be. has been one of my inspirations for a long long time you know and like i said you know keith died in 89 and so uh you know after that i mean one of the you know the big the big influences in my life after keith you know passed away was actually garth brooks in the early 90s so uh i just think man garth garth just kind of started a revolution man in country music when he when he started doing all those crazy and and wild concerts and garth brooks was the original entertainer of country music (laughs) He, he really is man and and uh he really energized. Uh, he really energized the, the country genre uh, at at the time when he was really, really big and popular, which he still is. I'm just saying. Oh you yeah. Know, in, the, in the early to mid '90s, he was like just you know he was killing it. He was like the king, you know. But uh, but and he's still he's still you know doing his thing. But I'm just saying he like he said he he kind of he was the entertainer. I mean he definitely you know earned every entertainer of the year award he ever won. You know because he was and he is an amazing entertainer. So. And I have to say, man, I did a, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Randall King, and I did an interview with him way back, probably one of, a few, probably in June, July, and yeah. uh, I was like, man, that had to mean something to, to have Garth Brooks, you man. know, come out and say, you know, uh, Randall King, this kid's, this is, this kid's gonna, this is country music. Yeah, like, I saw that, man. I've never met Randall, man, but I, I love He's a great sometime. guy, man. Great, humble but, guy. Yeah, I saw that where he and Garth kind of teamed up a little bit, and I was like, man, that's got to be just like an incredible feeling, you know, to know that Garth Brooks is back in your stuff. You know, that's great. Oh, so talk with and, and maybe write a song with, you know, or whatever. I think that would be the ultimate. Yeah, man, and then he, I mean, he's done retired and come back more times than Brett Favre, but uh, he still he still got it, man. He still got he's it. Still killing it, man. Still killing it. Yes, sir. I have to say myself, my favorite uh, artist at mainstream to this day, it's Eric Church. Dude, uh, he reminds me a lot of a uh, old time outlaw. You know what I mean? He, he does. Oh, now I, I do. I do love me some Eric Church too. I'd have to say Eric Church, and of course, of course, new up and comer. I've been listening to him for years, and that's Luke Combs, uh, another great sure. guy. Sure, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, yeah, and I, you know, and I think I think as far as like, uh, you know, if if it, if you wanted to just stay within Texas country, uh, like I said, you know, I we opened for Aaron Watson. That's two amazing. Years back that's amazing. He was a great. He was a great guy, and we had a, you know a good time opening for him. But I really think, honestly, like the guy I would love to pick his brain and kind of uh talk to and sit down with would 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 it me for me would be cody johnson oh what cody to me man aaron and aaron and cody are or or they deserve so much man because they've yeah, been doing and, and it they're, for, they're just getting started man oh I mean, they're gonna yeah know, and i'm and they yeah. deserve it all man they deserve sure. it all for, but cody so, johnson you know, I, love, and aaron, I hope i get the chance i hope i get the chance to meet uh, you know, and sit down with Cody someday. That would be so awesome, just to kind of pick his brain. And that would be just kind of, you know. So, and he's a great but guy, anyway. great individual, man, great person. Uh, both of them, you know, really. And uh, yeah, that you hit the nail on the head with that, man. That that's when you when you think of Texas country music, you know, you got your your yeah. your up there's, which is of course Aaron, of course Cody. Right. You know, right. you got of course you got uh. William Clark Green has been doing it for Randy sure. Rogers Band. My old, you know, and they got a lot of up and coming new kids. You know, new I sure. say kids, but yeah, Cody is definitely one that yeah. I'd love to yeah, sit man. and pick pick the brain. We just uh, we just got announced. I don't know if you had heard anything about or or whatever the uh, that Texas Country Music Cruise that we were on this last year. We were on there with William Clark Green and Curtis Grimes and Reckless Kelly and uh, let's see who else was on there. Um, Bart Crow. Uh, several several artists was on that boat, um, 
but this next year coming up in 2019, we're going to be on there with Pat Green. So I'm hoping I'm going to get to I, pick, hey, the, I'm awesome. going to get to pick the brain of Pat Green a little bit. Yeah. That would be awesome. Pat, Pat's so. another one, man. He's great. <laughs> he's, he's on our chart now with that, with his new and for, for, you know, but, uh, yeah, so, so I'm looking forward to that. That's in next September. I'm looking forward to meeting Pat and maybe hanging out with him on that big old ship. So <laughs> that, that's awesome. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Te- it, Texas is really flooded with, I try to, the best I explain to everybody is, uh, the first, my first experience with Texas country music was, I'm, I'm born and raised in, in, in central Louisiana, and, mm-hmm. and I've, I've always listened to country music, you know, uh, like you mentioned, the old 90s country, and sure. I, uh, I, I had a chance to go work in Texas for work when I got out of, you know, community college, and, uh, for probably about almost half a year, man, and, and I worked with a guy and, and, and the radio stations, and it was like, I never, I remember, I'll never forget, he had a, a shirt that said Casey Donahue, and I said, who is Casey Donahue? Right, and yeah. he's like, you never heard of Casey, and I left there, and when I come back home, I was like, y'all don't know what, what, what country, you know, I was yeah. like, man, and I, I fell in love with it, man, and then, you know, sure. in this aspect, I try to tell you, you know, this isn't a, by any means, it's not a strictly Texas, you know, show and all this support. But when right, I have right, Texas pe- no. when I have Texas people on, I'm gonna talk Texas. You know, it's my show. I can yeah. say what I want. There you go. Right. Well, <laughs> but, and, uh, and you know, the thing, well, the thing is, man, it's just because you know, like me, for instance, and, and I know the, all those other guys you mentioned. I mean, I mean, a lot of us are from Texas, but that, and it's you know, it's called Texas country music. But man, we love we love to go out to you know Louisiana and Arkansas and Oklahoma and you know New Mexico and. Shoot, man, we love going to those places and play. That's you know, that's that's uh, that's what we like doing. You like getting out of you know, not just playing in Texas, man, but just taking this stuff to the taking it to the nation and even the world. You know, so, I mean, taking this real true country sound, you know, trying to take it take it back to to the people, you know, because they're starving for it. Honestly, I feel like they are. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. I, I've had a lot of uh, a lot of friends that they li- I'll be listening to my, you know. My music and they like man who is this and i've turned so many dip non-believers or non-knowing yeah, people sure. and it's like man it's a whole and it's not just texas it's like, there's a lot more and you know places all over this nation and that's that's oh, yeah. that's oh, what yeah. that's really what i created this for man and that's the uh the media and the the mainstream they overlook a lot of great talent and right yeah you they know do. in all they states do. and that's 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 why sure. I, that's why I love you know I love doing this and I love hearing independent artists you know right it's, well I mean I know I know for me I can speak for me man I, I know and I, I probably can speak for for everybody else that's been on your show I mean we we 100 percent appreciate you know guys like you doing this kind of stuff because it just helps us to get out there and, and, and get to where the people are you know and, and get our get our music exposed to people that probably would never hear it otherwise so I appreciate it for sure. Well, I appreciate that, man. And I know we talked over the phone before about a uh, mutual friend, John Thibodeau, and sure. uh, he's mm-hmm. got his new stuff out. And, and, yep. and John's been playing a lot of a lot of trying to venture in a lot of shows out here, man. So uh, y'all definitely gonna have to swing swing by Louisiana and get some get some shows in and, and get these uh these everybody thinks it's all Cajuns. We got Cajuns, we got rednecks, right, but right, uh, we right. got we got rednecks too. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, man, that'd be awesome. I, I, I get your guys come down, play yeah. a few shows next year, man. Right, and I tell you what, man, if you're ever, I don't know how far you are from way like from like uh, Shreveport, Bossier City, but we play there quite often at the Horseshoe Casino. So maybe you can come up to Horseshoe sometime and check us out, hang out with us. Yep, yep, definitely. Uh, Bossier up north Louisiana, it's it's a good little haul for me, but I do I, I do go there when I do go there. It is for listening to good music. Yeah, man. So yeah, we have a we have a good time up there, Shreveport, Bossier. So we love playing out there. So, man, what's what's your goals for 2019? As as you, as your music grows, I mean, are you gonna put out a few more singles from the from the record, or are you gonna you gonna? We are, and and honestly, um, we we only put out uh, from our first album. That's that's been out now. I guess it's been out for a little over maybe three years. Um, we only put out one single off of that record, and there's some good ones, really, really good ones still on there. I don't know if you've heard heard my song uh, called uh, 
Greenhide, Texas Angel or not, but that yes, song yes, killed it. Yes, yes. That song killed it for us, man. It really, it really put us on the map, and uh, and uh, that was uh, that was the only song that was that was uh, singled out on that um, on that whole first album. And there's there's nine songs on there, so we may go back and revisit a couple of those and, and put them out as well. But yeah, we definitely are going to put out. Uh, I've, I've got a couple. Got a couple songs in mind uh, that that we're gonna after after Never New Texas you know makes its run and we'll see what happens with it. Uh, we've got a plan for 2019 to uh, to put out another song or two and uh, and see what happens and hopefully you know to just you know keep keep growing and and uh, you know keep keep uh, gaining those fans and uh, you know we're we're wanting to get into more of the. Uh, for now, 2019, we're wanting to get into more of the, you know, fairs and festivals and things like that. And yeah. Not so much the, not so much the clubs and the bars, which no. we still do that. Yeah, yeah. You know, but, I hear you. I hear you. But I would love to, I would love to get into more of the, uh, the, more of the, more of the festival scene and, and the fair scene. And, you know, that way you get to travel around a little bit more and, uh, and, uh, you know, get to see new people in new places that way instead of just playing, you know, at, uh, you know, the honky tonk down the street or whatever, which, like I said, I, I don't take that for granted because that's, you know, that's our bread and butter and that's where we got started, you know, and I, I want to continue doing that because, you know, our home base, you know, that's, that's where they met us and that's where they fell in love with us. And so I want to do that, but we definitely, definitely want to get out of you know, our local area and uh, start, you know, going to not only the rest of Texas, but like I said, you know, the surrounding states that are around Texas and, and, and getting out more and more from the 2019. Well, man, I got two, two statements for you. The first is going to be what you mentioned about, the putting another single out from your album and uh just proof that it, that that works uh, a good good friend of mine cj solar and uh and mike ryan i'm sure you've heard the name sure yeah 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 uh, he I, I did i did a little interview with him before and uh, uh he put out his second single off the album which is damn good goodbye the, both those guys wrote it and this is off of an album that was uh, almost a year and a half old, and I, I see it's hit number one on on Texas country radio. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, so man. don't don't think you don't you know use. It's crazy how radio works. You know, it's something you've yeah, had yeah. you know going. And my second statement is, if you want a festival, man, my Louisiana, it's almost ridiculous the amount of fe- I can't even keep up. We have festivals <laughs> for everything yeah, <laughs> in every town. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's really festivally insane. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you, man. Everybody wants to go to a festival and have a festival. Uh, every. It's, there's, <laughs> well, there's, they're fun. You know, they're fun and they're for the... It's family. Only, it's it's yeah, family oriented. And of course, we got the say, good man. food, you know. Yeah, you got, you got the food and you got, you know, like you said, the whole family can be involved and we need more of that anyway in this world. We need more family time. So that's, those fairs and festivals are good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I can throw a rock and find four festivals next month around here. <laughs> That's true, man. I hear you. It really same is. Same way out here in East Texas. Same way, man. There's always a festival somewhere. But yeah, yeah. That's definitely. Well, man, that's uh, that's awesome, man. I had a great time talking with you, brother, and uh, I, I look forward to what Darren Moore's band has coming, man. And hopefully, that that new one, that Never New Texas, is going to climb some some music charts and uh some radio hit some radio play man definitely yeah man we we sure we're sure hoping so so we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens here for a little while but yes sir and that's i'm definitely trying trying to tell some of my louisiana connections on radio try to push it man because that that's that's a that's a great song man please do and man i mean if if anybody anybody you know wants to wants to spin it and they don't have it man just contact me or have them contact me man i'll i'll send it to them in a heartbeat so uh, and for all the listeners that aren't radio djs go and go and get it go go download it itunes apple store you, you know sure. sound it's, cl- it's I don't, all over the place. all yeah. over all over go get it it's, it's from a phone click away you know yeah and and go listen to it on your top 40 next week too so <laughs> yeah 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 it will be on Do that. Do it that. will be it will be so yeah, man, we definitely appreciate you uh, stopping by, man. And uh, I, I, we don't have we don't have many uh, we have many don't have a, a ton of sponsors and people and ads we throw out there. But man, we do have a few that, that have been with us since day one, and we love. And uh, I like to take time at the end of the show to to give them a shout out, man. And uh, 
that, that first and foremost is Southern Sound Outfitters. I don't know if anyone's never heard of them. Go check them out. Uh, great veteran-owned organization, and they do a lot of things for up-and-coming Texas artists. Much less have some great apparel, too, so you can check out their website at uh, southernsoundoutfitters.com. Get you something from there. And uh, also, going on the lines of apparel, our Louisiana guy, Corey Adams with Swamp Assassin. If you hunt fish, love all that, you know, Corey uh, created Swamp Assassin back in the day, and it's taken off. It's a great brand, great apparel. Uh, They have something for everybody for you know, any sportsman. So check out Swan, and they've actually are re- in the middle of relocating uh, warehouses and having a huge sale, up to seventy five percent off of some uh, products on their website. So check it out at uh, swampassassin.com and get you something there. And also, I have to give my, uh, you know, a, it's just kind of a twofer. Props to uh, Rodeo Time Incorporated and Mr. Dale Brisby. You Texans out there, you rodeo people know. Get you some Daleware. Go on DaleBrisby.com. Get you some some Daleware or you ain't no cowboy, as he says. And also, Beck's Sunglasses. A newly acquired sponsor. Great, great, great. And they actually kind of tie in with Dale. You can actually buy your Beck's glasses off of dale's website or you can go on their own website at becksunglasses.com and and uh they have a extravaganza going on to win a new horse trailer so you can check that out at uh, becksunglasses.com and of course dalebrisby.com to get yourself some some dale wear there and also like we said before y'all be sure and check out darren all his social media pages and uh what was that that site you'd mentioned earlier man uh it was yeah you can go to to find out our schedule and and all that kind of good stuff go to uh, darren morris band dot app that's a really good resource darren morris band dot app yes sir make sure y'all check that out yes sir and i'm i'm gonna leave the floor up to you man if you got any kind of you know want to say hi to mom or whatever you gotta you know (laughs) well you know i I really just want to say uh, hello to all your listeners, man, and just uh, tell them thank you, uh, you know, for those of you who are just now learning about us and learning about our music. I, you know, I hope you enjoy it. And let us know. Let us know on social media. You know, look us up. You know, push like on, on our like pages or follow us on Twitter, all that kind of good stuff. And let us know, you know, what songs you like and, and what you want us to release next. Because, some, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, I would like to release a, a, a single based on, you know, what the fans are wanting. So if they listen to our album, they go, you know, hey, this certain song, you know, might be the best, you know, might be the best uh, song to release next. Then we might take that into consideration, you know. So uh, please do. Uh, thank you guys so much for everything. And uh, look us up. Let us know how we're doing. And uh, let us know you're out there listening. And uh, we sure appreciate it. Well, that's awesome, man. You you guys might even be uh, uh have some say so in the next single there. So that, be sure and get on there. Be sure and give them a shout out. Be sure and get on their social media and give them follows. It was great having you on the show, man. And and once you're on this show, you're family, brother. So you want to come back on any time? You you just Absolutely, give me a man. call. That'd be great. You just give me a call, man. And I, last but not least, I definitely have to give a, a major thank you to uh, Miss Linden and. Texas Country Music Association, we're proud members and, uh, you know, yes, sir. A great organization. So, without further ado, that that was this episode, this artist spotlight on Darren Moore's band. You check out his new song, Never New Texas, and check out all of his social medias and all of our sponsors. Until next time, guys, y'all have a blessed one.